So using the tablet to control the lathe is very convenient, but it's not necessary. We have redundant controls between the two. So if the battery of the tablet is drained or the tablet has been broken, never fear, we can still operate the lathe from this control panel. So let's take a look at what's here. First thing you notice is an e-stop. Push the e-stop, it engages. Turn the black ring to release it. Push the e-stop, it engages. And again, turn the black ring to release it. Now you'll notice also we have a speed control here on the lathe. So I can accelerate the lathe the speed by spinning it there, okay? So now the lathe is running. I also have a compensation button. So if I hold it for a couple of seconds and then release it, you'll see it flashing as it performs its compensation. When that's finished, it's gonna turn on the ACT and start changing the speed of the lathe to prevent chatter, okay? Now I also have the ability to stop, the, the, to ch change the direction, excuse me. So if I press and hold the reverse button and release it, you notice now it's showing me that it's in reverse and it's gonna flash to let me know that I need to flip my bits over. Okay, in this case, I don't wanna do that. So I wanna run it forward and now it's ready to go ahead and, and be turned on and compensated again. Okay, so that's your basic controls of the control panel of the lathe.